exquisite. What do we think? It gives the whole jellyfish vibe. It's like I have boxers on. What is up beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. How is everybody doing today? It's been one of those weeks. We are officially... What day is it today? So Valentine's Day is Tuesday. Today is Friday. We are officially three days away from Valentine's Day. You guys know for every holiday, any event, anything special i mean you know the drill today we're going to be doing a valentine's day inspired haul sponsored by the one and only fashion nova everybody i have a lot of items i have the package right here literally got my hands on it yesterday so let's get right into the item because we have a lot of clothes to try on if you guys are new here hi my name is solange if you're not new here Hi, my name is Solange. Subscribe, like, comment, share, you know, the usual. If you guys want to see a little bit more of me, I am active on my other social media platforms, such as my Instagram, my TikTok, my Patreon, where I post exclusive content. Let's get it. Okay, we have this cute pink dress. This is more so if you guys are doing something during the day, something more chill, maybe a picnic. Pink is always the way to go. Valentine's Day is recognized by its three colors, pink, white, and red. So, you know, if you want to stay on theme, this is pretty on theme. This is like a tea party dress. It's not a nighttime thing, but I know that a lot of couples like to do things throughout the day, so this might be a cute outfit for something simple. Okay, then I got this dress. This one... Um, I actually saw an influencer that I follow on Instagram post this dress, which was from Fashion Nova, and I just fell in love. I mean, look at it. It gives the whole jellyfish vibe. This nude color is everything. Here, you can take a closer look. I think it's so pretty. Again, this is also more for like a date night, fancy dinner, something nighttime. Okay, this next one is more of a nighttime, daytime thing. It is comfortable, so if you're going on a date at nighttime and you want to make sure that you're having a nice full dinner, I feel like this would be pretty good at disguising my bloating. It is pretty fluffy. has this cute little corset in the front, and it does have some nice support on the breast area, which I love, and the straps are also adjustable. And then I got this beautiful blue set. A lot of the nights here in Florida lately have been a little chilly, it gets cold, but you want to look cute and still not freeze your ass off. I wish you guys could feel it. It's such a soft, cottony, cozy material, but somehow they made it look sexy. Long sleeves. I kind of tied it in my own way. I kind of just took it and tied it in the back. But on the website, I'm pretty sure that she had it tied in the front. Tie it in the front or do a bow, whatever you want. The skirt has a nice little slit, which I love. Love how absolutely comfortable this material is. Honestly, did not expect it, but I am very glad. And then I got this outfit. Um, this top was honestly the inspiration for the whole thing. I kind of just got a pair of jeans to go with it. I wanted some jeans that were mid-rise. I didn't want anything that was too low-waisted, but I also didn't want it to completely go over my belly button. I also wanted some nice little... I wanted some barbell bottoms. Barbell. I, I don't know the name. But I wanted them to pretty much like flare out at the bottom. I didn't want any skinny jeans. As you can see, the sleeves are very open and flared out, and so is the bottom. And we just appreciate how pretty and how Valentine's Day this top is. All of these beautiful pink roses. It is a little bit see-through, so you do have to wear a bra underneath. The jeans are always very tight when they first get here, but they usually stretch out. I do get a size three always. I mean, you could definitely pair this up with some heels and make it a nighttime outfit. Or you could style it down with some sandals, sneakers, maybe some low platforms and wear it out for lunch or brunch, breakfast even. I think you could kind of go a lot of ways with this outfit. Then you know I had to get a classic black outfit. I usually tend to lean more towards the black dresses, but I feel like I already have plenty of black dresses and this just looked so simple and kind of sexy i love that the slit is so high up i love that the top is very tiny you can see this with maybe like 
a slick bun and a red lipstick, making it very romantic. I need to stop giving words personalities. It has this uh, thing attached. I guess you're supposed to maybe tie it around, give it a little bit more personality, but I probably would just tuck this in. Again, I like more of that simple look and I like how the set looks already on its own. I didn't initially plan to have these two pieces go together. I bought them separately for completely different ideas that I had in my head. I love how they're throwing all these little roses to a bunch of their outfits and very flowy tops. It's giving me very 90s vibes, but very modern at the same time and I am loving it. I think this top is very cute, very Spain, very summer, European. I am absolutely in love. And I got this skirt just because I love the V shape of it. These two don't look horribly wrong together, but I personally have different ideas for both of these. You know I had to get a simple dress for my girlies who aren't trying to do too much for Valentine's Day. Maybe this is your fifth. 10th, 9th Valentine's Day and you're probably over it or maybe you're not over it but you're just like okay I've done all the over the top stuff I just want to do something simple this is like not a super expensive dress I think it's still very cute and shows that you put in some effort classy it's one of those dresses that you can always dress up with some heels nice little pearls some jewelry makeup and it's a safe choice we all have a safe choice if all else fails you have this backup it's very cute sticks to the skin but it's still very flowy and not too tight and fashion Nova is just known for all of their dresses and i feel like this is a signature dress of fashion Nova. This is a personal favorite of mine. We could go so many different ways with this outfit. This is like, okay, we're gonna go grab a fancy dinner and then we're hitting the club with our friends after. Have fun, get lit. It's giving Pamela Anderson back in the day. It's giving bad girl, sexy. Leather and black. Squeeze it. It is like a kind of a corset in the front. Very V-shaped, not tight at all it's actually super super comfortable and lightweight which i love the skirt is very mini very mini skirt but you guys this is my favorite so far it is a set i'm not sure if i mentioned that so it does come together in moments like this i want to be a full blonde I just want to fully live my bad blonde girl, Serena Williams era. Okay, these are two items, again, that I did not plan to pair them together, but it didn't turn out too bad. The pants are a little bit more streetwear, so you could pair it up with maybe like a crop top, some Jordans, Nike. If you guys are just going to go maybe to a park or aquarium, whatever, some, and more of a sporty thing, maybe the zoo, or you guys are just going to go shopping together and you want to go sporty, I feel like that's the idea I had for the pants. I feel like I would even pair this top with my previous black mini black skirt that was V-shaped. The only problem with this top is that it is completely see-through and I didn't even realize. Uh, it is completely lace. I did pair it with a nude bra underneath and I think it looks quite good. I actually like how it looks with the nude underneath and I think it goes pretty well with the pants. And I did get the top in a small and the pants in a three. I love that the pants are very baggy, but they're still not super high-waisted. I'm not liking my pants too high-waisted nowadays. Low-rise I could do, but mid-rise is just perfect. I don't know why I got very lucky for this haul because I bought a bunch of random items. That's the easy thing with dresses and sets or rompers. You just have to get it and you don't have to worry about piecing it together with something else. Um, but for this haul, I actually got a bunch of random tops and bottoms and didn't really correlate them together, just kind of got them if I like them. And surprisingly, they're not coming out too bad. I'm kind of pairing them together as I go. I've been really into skirts, especially for whenever I go out or I'm going to the club. So yeah, and I didn't have any nude skirts, so. And I got this cute pink top. I just loved the little lace detail and that it's very v-shaped. 
and it's long sleeve and it's pink and it was screaming Valentine's Day, so I had to get it. So yeah, what do we think? This is screaming Jersey Shore. <laughs> in the best way possible. So I need to start sizing up because I obviously gained a couple pounds. So I got this cute top, it's a little bit big. I don't think that I'm putting it on quite correctly. The skirt doesn't quite button. It's giving like, oh my God, I left the club. I'm like a mess, like I got so fucked up. Bless Mary, Jersey Shore. And you know, I had to get a cute pajama set obviously can we look how cute first of all it is absolutely incredibly utterly comfortable very stretchy it feels like i have boxers on i love it and i love the color this is actually my favorite color for those of you that don't know and this is the last item for the haul just a cute simple romper if you're going to, if you guys are going to go ride some bicycles or go to the zoo or do something sporty, maybe go shopping. I love rompers because you can dress them up or you can dress them down. It's simple but cute and you can kind of just wear it for everything and they're very comfortable. They're my go-tos. And that was it for the haul. I hope you beautiful people enjoyed. Mwah. Happy Valentine's Day. All of the items are linked down below. And I will see you beautiful people in my next video. Mwah. Let's get up.